This by far is the worst thing you can actually do. Take a freaking down a broken roof. Taking a uh, few items out, still working on, on it. I actually had to go under it to actually unscrew the uh, uh, metal screws. It's been tough, but we'll keep going at it. It doesn't look so bad. You just have to go under to get everything done. And uh, when you're up here, actually it's not so bad. You're only about 15, 20 feet high, but I still fucking hate heights. Kind of sucks. This uh, wristband, magnetic wristband actually, it's pretty cool. I got, uh, I thought maybe I can uh, offer it locally here for some uh, construction workers or pretty much anyone who uh, wants to use something like this. It's very, very handy, especially if you're on a fucking roof trying to undo a broken uh, trailer roof. This is so fucking tight, you know. The stupid company promised you that the steel, the steel would actually hold a couple hundred pounds. Didn't even fucking hold no more than six feet of snow. Look how freaking bent it is. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a nice fucking review. It's supposed to be a two inch steel, roughly about two to four millimeter in thickness and it's freaking bent a fucking wasp net right beside my head I don't think they're home it's freaking bent what a mess it's supposed to be a four a four foot steep roof it's roughly about a foot and a half now it's been crushed this is terrible so we got the uh, roof fully done, fully uh, dismantled. Um, probably gonna end up uh, sweeping the, uh, the roof of the trailer. Uh, there's few holes actually. I have to patch them up, let it dry for about 24 hours and probably uh, check out the uh, other kit that I bought. It's supposed to be a peak roof of about five to six feet high, PVC tubing. So we're gonna test it out as well too and hopefully it will stand this winter. So I'll have to do this uh, all over again. So we're actually going to have some salmon. I'm just gonna fry it, uh, uh, pan fry it. Uh, I don't feel like having it uh, cured or raw today. So we're gonna heat up the uh, frying pan and get started. Make sure the frying pan is quite hot. Oh yeah, that's done. There you go, it doesn't get any better than this. Now this is probably about nine ounces of uh, wild salmon. To uh, keep it very simple, just because I am uh, still working with the roof and trying to get things done, I don't want to get too tired from uh, overeating, so I keep it very, very simple, and fish is the easiest. Even if you're comparing it to eggs, it's the easiest to uh, digest, and you can eat this, get up, and get back to work without feeling any... Uh, tiredness or you actually have to sit there to digest the food. It's pretty amazing. Cheers. So there's the roof is uh, fully cleaned up, sealed. I did two quotes. I'm actually gonna put some support first. Then will actually go across as well too. It's starting to look good. There's a lot of mess down there. I still have to clean it up. It's been a long day actually. It's starting to get cloudy as well too. The sun is gone, which is kind of sucks. Hopefully it doesn't rain or else I have to uh, uh, put a plastic. I'll have to put a plastic on top of some of the uh, openings so we don't get any water going inside. Kind of sucks. Hopefully it doesn't rain. There you go. Took everything 
apart. Some are actually damaged, some are still usable. I still gotta remove some of these pieces of wood. The 4x8s are all taken out, the metal sheeting is taken out. The next couple of days, because today is Sunday, the home hardware is closed. I'll buy the main base and start working on a new roof. It's been a long day. I uh, thought it'll only take me about an hour or two. It's been almost about close to four and a half hours taking the whole roof down. It's roughly about 30 feet by 10 feet. Uh, a lot of damage. I did seal the top of the uh, trailer as well too. Um, right now I think I'm gonna do a nice espresso shot to feel a little bit relaxed. And the sun is coming back out again. So hopefully it doesn't rain. So what I've done, I made the base with a couple of the posts that I took out from the roof and I actually built an antenna to get a stronger uh, cellular signal. Therefore, I can uh, touch base with some of the people. There you go. It looks really good. So we're having fish again <clears throat> for dinner, but uh, this piece here is roughly about 16 ounces. It's quite big. Um, we're gonna fry it again, pan fry it, and uh, that's about it for the night. Uh, keeping it very, very simple and just uh, fish, high poly polyunsaturated fats, as you can see, and a little bit of Himalayan salt on it. That's it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna head to uh, town and uh, look for some good steaks. I hope I can find some because I really want to test out the new barbecue I got. Also, once in a while I do consume organic frozen cranberries, um, about uh, half a cup. What it does, it, it will actually help with the acidity and therefore you can be able to digest the food a bit better as well. Keep in mind, a cup of these uh, cranberries barely barely have about one or two grams of sugar which is nothing also in addition to my uh, uh, diet uh, you know eating fish meat once in a while eating some plants i am testing a few supplements for a company some of these supplements are uh you know they claim polyphenols are good for your health overall and antioxidants i don't know if it's true or not would like to actually test them also i'm testing high dosages of uh, niacin as well too but i'm doing a weekly uh, liver testing just to make sure it doesn't ruin my uh, my enzymes it's roughly about 8 p.m right now it does get a bit uh, cooler in the evening um but one of the, the downfall is a lot of freaking mosquitoes are coming out as well too kind of sucks so for tomorrow i'll either uh, finish the uh, base of the uh, roof or i'm actually gonna start working on the kayak it's supposed to be um, hot tomorrow so hopefully i'm able to get it get it fixed glued properly because it is going to take at least 24 hours to cure and hopefully we can take it out on the water the next day or two. Also, if I get a chance, I'm gonna open the doors on that shed, the old shed. I actually have a fishing boat in there and the tractor, but one of the downfall is, um, I was looking at it this morning, there's a lot of freaking bats in there. So that's gonna be interesting in the next couple of days. It's funny, you leave this place for more than a year and things get out of hand. It's crazy. <laughs> 